Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Mallard M27. It's a rear living couples coach. You have a couple rockers here in the back with a beautiful rear picture window. You can see that right behind me, how nice and big and open that is. So if you're lucky enough to have like a uh, lakefront or oceanfront view, you can spin these chairs right around and be able to look out the back there. Plus during the day, it lets in a lot of natural light. You'll also see right in between your two rockers here, you have an electrical outlet. So if you need to sit down and you know play on a tablet or work on a laptop, you can sit here and plug it in right there. You'll also notice you have a couple LED lights in case you want to do some reading. And then up top, you have additional storage. One of the things I do like, I mean, it does have the cool decorative glass on here, but more importantly to me at least, is the fact that it has a uh, strut in here. So that way it's simple one hand operation. Rather than having to hold it open and reach up here with the hand, you can lift it up, be able to you know maneuver whatever you have up here to be able to easier get to your items. If we take a quick look at the ceiling, you'll notice there is a vent here. So if you don't want to turn on the ducted AC, you can just open some windows up, open that vent up and have that ventilation. If you do want to run the AC, you have dual run ducts running all the way down the camper. So that way it does a great job of keeping things nice and cool. That AC unit does have a quick dump on there as well. Another thing you'll notice on the ceiling is it does have a barreled ceiling. You can see that right along the back here. So that way it makes it a little bit taller, doesn't feel quite as closed in and claustrophobic. Let's take a look over here. We're actually going to move over to the kitchen. Uh, you'll see right here is your fridge freezer combo. Open that up for you. You'll see you have plenty of space right in there, which is great. Couple drawers right down underneath. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right here on the wall, you'll see some of your control panels. This is for your ducted heat as well as your AC. Directly beneath that is your tank monitoring panel. Do notice that your water heater is DSI and run, also runs off both propane and electric. And as long as you have the shore power there for electric, you can turn both of those on at the same time for quicker recovery. Now as you move into the rest of the kitchen, you have microwave right up top here with your hood underneath. That does have a fan and light in it, of course. You have the storage right over next to that. Uh, great cabinetry, everything in here is screwed and glued, which is nice. You have the, uh, the fancy looking doors here as well with the brush nickel pulls. And I like the fact there's not a style in between. So if you do have some larger items, you're able to fit them in there. Window in the kitchen, as you would expect, to let in some natural light. Backsplash here as well. Uh, you have an LED light in case you need some light at night. The electrical outlet's on the back side. I can show you that in a little bit here. One of the things I do like about the countertop though is the fact that they give you a recessed cooktop with the glass cover as well as the dual sink top covers. So that way you can utilize all of this as prep space. Without that, you just don't have a ton. So I like that that is included. It just makes life a lot easier. You don't have to worry about buying things third party. When we open this up, you see right here is your three burner cooktop there, the front one being high output. And then as we drop this down, you see your oven there in case you want to do some baking. Both of these sink top covers are cutting board quality. So if you want to take it off, flip it over, you can use that as a cutting board. I do recommend using the bottoms though. That way if you have guests over and you put it on here, you don't have a bunch of ugly knife marks right in the top. It stays looking, you know, brand new like the day you bought it. And then when we take those off, you see the double bowl sink there. Larger one on the left, smaller one on the right. And then to help wash and rinse dishes, they also give you the high-rise pull-out faucet. Again, that makes things a lot simpler when you're uh, washing dishes or, you know, you have to uh, rinse things in a colander, fill a bowl, whatever it may be. Directly underneath the sink, you have some additional storage right there. What I like about this, folks, is they didn't put a, um, a shelf or anything in here, so it gives you enough room to put a trash can. If we take a look right here on the side, you see a cubby hole there. Maybe you want to put some spices, as well as two full extension ball bearing drawers. Nice brush nickel pulls on there so they're easy to open. And I like having two drawers, one for your silverware and one for some of your larger utensils. When you come around to the side, you see right underneath the uh, countertop here, you have an electrical outlet. So that way if you need to plug in a blender or a griddle, a coffee maker, or anything else, that is where you will plug it into. Right across the way is our super slide. So nice big slide here really helps open up this living space, especially with the barreled ceiling. This is a tri-fold sofa. If you're not familiar with the tri-fold, the nice thing about these is not only they're comfortable to sit in, you know, they have the built-in armrests here, but also they make a very comfortable bed. 
if you take a look in the back, this is actually what you get to sleep on right here, folks. So it's nice and padded. Your guests don't have a bar in the back or an air mattress or anything that's going to deflate on them. You'll also notice you have windows all the way around in this slide to let in a lot of natural light and LED lights here throughout. Not just on the ceiling, but also right over here, that wall sconce is LED, as is the light above the table. Additional storage above your sofa, just like we had above the uh, two rear uh, rockers there. And again, it is strut supported, so simple one hand operation on those. Then as we move over to the dinette itself, in lieu of additional storage, they put a bigger window here, which I like. It does help open up the space a little bit too. That way when you're sitting here, you know, eating a meal, you just have this big window, you know, then again, you can either, in, uh, you know, just let all that light in. It makes it nice and bright and airy in here. This table does drop down into a bed. So if you need additional sleeping space beyond the trifold sofa, uh, this one does drop down. Now, the trifold sofa will make a big enough bed for two adults to sleep on. This one, you know, if an adult wants to curl up, they can do that. Uh, or, you know, if you have a child or two, it definitely works great for them. It is quite simple, though. All you have to do is you fold this leg right here. The table itself um, actually is mounted in the back. You can see that right there. So you fold the legs. The thing I like about that, though, is look. It doesn't move. A lot of the dinettes and a lot of manufacturers, you sit down and the table's super wobbly. You know, you put an elbow on it and everything falls off. Not the case here. So I do like the system they've used. You'll also see there's an electrical outlet down there. So if you need to work on a tablet or laptop, again, something like that, you can plug it in right there. On those rainy days, if you want to watch TV, this is where the TV would go here. Uh, you have some additional storage right up top there. Then if we take a look, this is a nice blue LED light. Uh, when you have a TV there, it makes it nice and bright, you know, kind of behind it. It gives it some cool accent lighting. Uh, I'll put this here so it doesn't blind you, but you can kind of see that. So that way, you know, that's back and around the TV. Just kind of a cool extra look. Obviously, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. And then right here's your multimedia center. This unit is a radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, pop it in. Your cables are right here. Those are just plug right into the back of your TV, and you can watch whatever movie you bring with you. Some additional storage there, as well as some storage here underneath. But my favorite part, folks, is this right here. That is a central vac. That's not something you generally get in a travel trailer. Usually you have to be in like a higher end fifth wheel, motorhome, something like that. I love the fact they put them in here. That we don't have to try to find a place for a vacuum because that's generally not easy either. And this makes it super convenient. You have the hose, you hook it in, and you can sweep up your camper. Right behind me here is the bathroom. We'll go in there in just a second, but first I want to admire the door they have, the interior doors and the mallards. I really love the fact they put a design in here. Most manufacturers wouldn't do that. They just kind of leave it there and, you know, while it serves its function as a door, having the design just makes it a lot more eye-catching. So you take a look at the bathroom, you see your foot flush lever toilet right here, plenty of leg room in front. Off to the side is your sink top and vanity, so you have a cubby hole there. You also have a vent for your heat, so that way if it's a cold morning, you'll stay nice and toasty. Little storage underneath, but big countertop space in here, folks. So you have plenty of room to set down your hair dryer, your curling iron. You can put your toothbrush here. It's the electrical outlet there off to the side. Right up above that is a big mirrored medicine cabinet, so great storage there, as well as an LED light so you can see. And up on the ceiling, you have a vent fan there to quickly help moisture escape. Off to the side, you see the shower. Notice there is some shelving in there, so you have a place to put your shampoo as well as your soap, a hand wand, and a big skylight up top, which lets in a lot of natural light as well as gives you some additional headroom. As we take a step in the bedroom, you'll see you have a nice slider pocket door here. That gives you a little more privacy in case you do have additional guests staying with you. And as we step on in, you see the queen bed here in the center. This is a camper queen, so it is 60 by 74 inches. And it does have storage here underneath as well. So that way if you have some larger items, like some bedding, or I've had people that bring guitars, other instruments with them, you're able to store that under the bed there. If you take a look off to the side, you'll see you also have a second entrance. Again, uh, while you may not use this on a daily basis, if you do have additional guests, folks, this is great to have. If you go to bed later uh, than them or you know, wake up earlier than your guests, you can enter and exit the RV without disturbing them. On the sides here, you see you have your wardrobe storage. It does have a mirrored door. You have a wardrobe on each side here, so you have plenty of place to hang your clothes, which is great. And then directly underneath that, you'll see you have some great nightstands here. You have uh, the nice big countertop space, you have the cubby holes, and you have electrical outlets on both sides. 
So whether you are plugging in a cell phone at night, or if you have a CPAP machine you plug in to sleep with, you have plenty of space to put it on either side of the bed. You also notice you have storage here up top. The double doors make it nice and easy to get in there. Again, you have the decorative glass fronts here, which is pretty cool. And if you take a look over to this side, right up top, if you want a TV in your bedroom, this is where it will go. The appropriate connections are right next to that. They did put a backer here, so you know exactly where to mount it. But my favorite part is actually right underneath that. Look at this, folks. Not only do you have the two wardrobes on the side of the bed, but you have this third nice large wardrobe right here. So if you're looking to you know, maybe go full timing or spend a lot of time in here, you can have plenty of clothes in this couple's coach. And you also get the secondary drawer here for any folded clothes you want to stick in there. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Mallard M27. Right up front here, your two 20-pound propane tanks with your cover. Super easy to get to those folks. Just undo these two thumb screws. They lay right down like so. Then you can open up the door and boom, there are your two tanks. Behind that right here are rails for your battery. If you want to squeeze two in there, you can do that as well. And then take a look at this right over here. You'll see this one is prepped for solar, which is great. That way, if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and that will trickle charge your battery. A couple other features here. If you take a look, you can kind of see this right here. What that is, folks, is that is the, uh, the, your fully enclosed and heated underbelly. That's that layment they put underneath there. It runs all the way back. And the cool thing about that is in conjunction with the two inch thick walls you have on here, this camper is capable of camping in some of those later seasons when it starts to dip down, starts a little below freezing and it's cold. Because it is heated under there and fully enclosed, it'll help prevent your lines and tanks and stuff from freezing up on you. If you take a look right over here, you have a light there as well. So if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, it gives you a little added visibility. Then up above that, you have the diamond plating here, which helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And then directly above that is the beautiful painted front cap. This is one of my favorite parts on a travel trailer is when they have this front cap here. Not only does it make it look like the high-end camper that it is, but also it's nice and easy to clean because it's painted, it has that shine and luster, and also adds a little uh, extra insulation value. You also see it has some LED lights inlaid on the side, so it gives it that you know, kind of appeal that you're looking for at night. We come around to the side, as I had mentioned, two inch thick laminated sidewalls here, so gorgeous sidewalls. Take a look at the size of this pass-through door, folks. It's a really wide pass-through here. So if you have larger items, like some of your chairs these days are getting pretty big. Granted, they're super comfortable, but this gives you enough room to actually be able to slide it in there. You'll also notice it's a covered hinge. That way it won't rust. You don't have all the rust coming down your door. That's never a good look. It's magnetic. Put it up there. It stays just like that. And slam latch. You just shut it. It does the rest for you. Now let's take a quick look inside. Super clean pass through here. You don't have any cables running through. You don't have any plumbing, nothing like that. Again, big wide pass through here. Couple of LED lights and take a look at this. This unit does have power stabilizer jacks for both the front and the back of the RV. One of these will control the back too. The other one controls the front too, but it makes it super simple. You know, when you're, when you're uh, setting up camp rather than having to get out here and crank them all down, just touch a button, it does the rest for you. You can see those right down there. So now, now remember, those are not leveling. You'll still want to level the camper out, but they are power stabilizer jacks. So just making life, as I mentioned, a little easier for you. Two entrances into this RV. This one right here is your secondary entrance. This goes into the bedroom. The one in the back there is your primary. Both of them have the three folding steps with the grab handle. Right here is your power awning. This is great too. If you've never used the power awning, if you've only used a manual one, folks, this is a great addition. Touch a button to have this roll out, same thing to have it go right back in. You don't get much easier than a power awning. You'll also see you have an adjustable pitch on here. So you can just pull this down on either side. That way, again, you can adjust the pitch of the camper, whether you want it on both sides to help with sunlight or just one side to assist with water runoff. The neat thing about this is it doesn't matter where it's at when you roll it up, it will readjust itself. So, you know, you don't have to fix this before you roll it up, you're not going to break anything. If you take a look, it's kind of tough to see here, uh, but there is in the barrel, there's a string of LED lights there as well. So you can flip that on. And the cool thing about that is the LED lights will shine back on your campsite rather than being on the side of the camper where then it's shooting out at your neighbor. So it really helps illuminate your campsite right in here. This is a black tank flush. 
That makes it easier to wash out your black tank. Makes sense, right? Take a hose, screw it in right there. That black tank has sprayers built in that will wash it out for you. Without one of these, you have to take a hose and you have to drag it into the camper, into the bathroom, and stick it down your toilet to wash out your black tank. So this is definitely a much simpler option. Right next to that is a dual electrical outlet. So if you need to plug anything in outside, that is the place to do it. Take a look right down below. This is something else that's cool on the Mallard. You have what they call the wide track suspension, which is essentially a spread axle system. The advantage of that is having a wider wheelbase helps reduce the sway. So that's, uh, again, it'll help in the towability of this unit. You'll also see the beautiful aluminum alloy wheels you have on here. A lot of those look great now and, you know, your friends will be like, oh, sweet wheels. But also, they will stay looking nice for the life of the RV because the aluminum does not rust. And then you have nitrogen-filled tires there too, which in theory should hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time. If you're looking to do some boondocking or you're camping somewhere where you don't have water hookup, you don't have city water, this is your fresh water fill. You'll want to fill up your water tanks right there. Hot water heater next to that, as I mentioned inside, that one does run off both propane and electric. If you look up top here, you'll see a speaker here. Your second one is right over there. Both of those are controlled by that multimedia center inside I had showed you. But again, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here relaxing in your chair, you don't want to have to get up to control your music, great. Use your cell phone, your tablet, whatever else you have. You can operate it via Bluetooth. Come around to the back with me here. If you take a look right underneath, look at this, folks. Propane Quick Connect. You like to do some cooking outside, maybe you don't want to stink up the inside of the camper, great. You can set your grill up right here, plug it in right there. Now you're using the propane from your two large 20 pound tanks up front instead of having to bring the small little green ones with you. When we come around to the very back, you'll notice right here, you have a spare tire mounted on the bumper with a cover. When it comes to spare tires, yes, this does, to, or the spare tire, it takes up some of your real estate space here on the bumper, but the nice thing about this is this is the absolute easiest place to get to. Now, hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you know it's riding right back here, it's all covered up, so it should be in good shape and easy to get at. Right up above that's our large rear picture window, so if you, again, have a nice view outside, you're certainly able to enjoy that out of this window. And up above that, you will see the backup camera prep. This is a decent sized travel trailer. If you, you know, want that extra vision, maybe people that are traveling with you aren't the greatest spotters. Love my wife to death, but uh, you know, half the time she's behind the trailer and I can't see her. But having the backup camera here makes life a lot easier, folks. And because it is prepped, it, it has a lot less labor. It's a lot easier to install, meaning it will save you money. Right here on the off door side, you'll see your 30 amp detachable power cord there. Outside shower with both hot and cold water access. You see the hand wand, you can just put it right there, uh, nice and convenient there on the door. And then next to that, you have your city water inlet, if you have city water, as well as your cable inlet. And if you take a look directly underneath here, you see your termination with both your black and gray tank. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Mallard M27. If you're interested in this beautiful travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.